they just dump cold cheese on like top of it. Like a handful of them. cold. Little Vincent's and Honey's like, Yeah, it's like a... Right? Of course they have that out Oh, here. I it's saw like that place. the greatest tradition. Yeah. We're talking about Vinny. cold cheese on the podcast. I'm rolling right now. Cold cheese. All right. So rolling we're rolling. Up. It's happening. It's cold cheese. This is how we usually get into the... Like, I don't tell anyone that we're rolling, and they're talking about... That's good. Cold, well, cold cheese know. pizza from Little Vincent's in Huntington. Does that exist it's, anywhere else? No. Uh-uh. It's, it's yeah. like... I've never heard of it. Long Island and pizza is sort of like... It's a next level thing, because there's like a lot of pizza out here, and it's we love our pizza. pretty good. Is that like mm-hmm. Jersey too, though? Yeah, yeah, Jersey has the same thing. Kind of the same thing. But you know, maybe Long Jersey Island's... bagel. How's Jersey bagels? Eh. Nah. Oh. Nah. Brooklyn bagels. Yeah, Brooklyn bagels. You you actually are you are you still do you still go to that place near my apartment in? Uh, yeah. Yes. Atlanta? Yeah. Cool. So yeah. So oh, so welcome to the Pitch It Movie Podcast. Woo! Um, oh yeah. The only po- I I gotta stop saying the only podcast because we, we don't know we other don't podcasts. Know we are the only podcast that does. Just this. keep it that way. So yeah. um, I'm Peter Bune. I'm Sean King. And today you you heard the voices of our guests. Today we have Shanti and Greg. Hello. Great of to be Play here. Day. I'm Greg. I'm Shanti. And he's Shanti. <laughs> and Not bodies. really. So we brought them here because they're going to help us. What do we do here, Sean? Uh, Paint we, a picture. Uh, get crazy. Uh, we get nuts. With, on the Pitch It Movie podcast, what we do is, see, here's the scenario. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have this huge meeting. Tell it to me. We have this <laughs> huge meeting with Mr. Hollywood, the king of Hollywood. Okay? Oh, my God. We he's, call him Lord Hollywood sometimes. He's, he's the guy that Lord makes all Hollywood. the- Lord yeah, Hollywood. He's the guy that makes all the huge decisions- he can make or break He's your such Hollywood. an asshole. No yeah. movies get made unless Lord Hollywood says, okay. And uh-huh. we, we've been and, lucky. Yeah. We've uh-huh. been lucky. He comes from the, the famous Hollywood family. Right. And he's given us... The Los Angeles uh, Hollywoods. Yeah, he's given us the mm-hmm. opportunity to pitch a big movie mm-hmm. that, that he wants to make. But we waited all week to come up with a and movie. And we have our meeting. And God, our it, meeting's in about an hour. Happens. And right. we procrastinated like usual. Mm-hmm. So now we have to come up with a whole movie idea. Soup to nuts. From beginning to end, from soup to nuts. And we have no fucking idea what we're going to do, what, what kind of so. movie we're going to come up with. You called the right people, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you, you, got, you got two of the best creative minds here. And unfortunately... Uh, Will when P- Will Puntarch isn't here. Ah, we don't need him. Aww. Sorry, Will. What's Will doing? He came up with. Why the doesn't idea. he like us? I think because of the last pitch. Yeah, he, he Lord Hollywood has put him on oh. the bench. I think oh. he went. He went on a retreat, a creative retreat, to kind of you know. Captain recapture. Hollywood was like replenish. Will, yeah, he needed yeah. to like mm-hmm. restore. This is the, like our eleventh uh, episode. Eleventh mm-hmm. episode of the podcast. So yeah. it, it wears you down. When he's you have to, at a knitting convention. Yeah, he's, he's doing something. ayahuasca actually. Mm-hmm. Ayahuasca. Oh, he's there you go. Is he? Go deep. He didn't invite us. No, he didn't. He needed to retreat. Cleanse on his the own. soul. Yeah. Cleanse the mind. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So he's gonna come back all kind of refreshed. But basically, well, and with long hair, too? long hair, yeah, long beard, be all yeah. spacey, and no yeah, shoes, yeah. no yeah, shoes. Yeah, his eyes will be bad. blue. Yeah. His eyes are blue. They are. They're gonna be more blue. Oh yeah. They're gonna be with stars. There's gonna be stars yeah. in them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you guys tell us what you what your band is and what you guys do, please? Because you you must you must describe to the to the listeners what uh, your credentials and why you think that you can come up with a movie with us. Because <laughs> Okay, we well, really need your help. Do you have Where do we start? more than an hour? <laughs> well, Shanti Whatever wasn't Donnie takes. Darko. I think that. Well, I, I, I think we, we should start. Tell people that I Shanti we'll, Wintergate I mean, wasn't Donnie Darko. Yes, so it, it begins. It begins. Don, it begins and ends with Donnie Darko. Yes, and um, Greg has been in a punk rock band called the Bouncing Souls for and, almost thirty years. Well, Greg wow. sang. You did you write or you sang a song about eighties movies? I'm like quoting them. Oh, well, right. right. So We're getting you credentials must know in. how stories go. You know, have act, act one, act two, act three. Exactly. Um, it's well, the same top, thing. Top, Do you guys? Top I, 80s I heard a thing that I heard top eighties movie. Well, what? first of all, I heard you guys hate so the Goonies. Good. Is it true that you what? hate the Goonies? Oh uh, no, I don't hate the Goonies. What? No way. Was no it way. Brian hates the Goonies? I don't know where Pete that came Goonies? from. Is it a rumor? Maybe somebody That's said terrible it. terrible. You start because I I used to go. I mean, I still go to your shows. Sounds vaguely familiar. And then when you play that song. And then when someone quotes the Goonies, it's like, get that fucking song movie out of here. What? No, it yeah. could have been one. You guys could have been in a bad mood. I think uh, Goonies is one of uh, our maybe for movies. a while. A couple of people were doing the same quote from Goonies, yeah. and oh. I was probably like over it. Yeah, yeah. But he I does that. I don't like He's the kind movies. of an asshole. You're like quote Amadeus or something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably like that. Was the Red you know, Dawn quote? Time, every Terms time. of endearment. 
Yeah. You were getting to that part. Tootsie. Of it. Tootsie. There you go. Tootsie rolls. Tootsie rolls. It does. So, uh, so nice. nice. Eight. Every right. time he, every time they sing that song, they never call on me. I know it's. I mean, it, I understand. What do you why. want to say? Yeah, what's your quote? I always want to say, "What is." I can't think of it right now. Uh, oh, my God. I just lost it. See, this chance. is what happens. This is why, this is why, that's also why I never yell anything. Because well, I know I'm going to be like. I, I, the song's I, called These Are Your Quotes from Your Favorite 80s Movies. Yes. Kind of like. That's kind of like. <laughs> that's kind of the title. <laughs> is it the title? <laughs> that's the title. Okay, that is the title. Okay. These are the quotes from our favorite, our favorite, favorite 80s movies. Okay. Uh, and, and the quotes change each time you sing it. Kind of. Well, right? It's oh, always it the same, but then we have a space when we play it live where yeah. we ask someone to do their own quote. right okay so that's the only part yes. that changes okay cool okay what is expendable Rambo yeah that's a good oh, oh Rambo. 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 Rambo Rambo nice okay. and then you would say like you know when you're at a party and nobody cares if you're there or not <laughs> <laughs> That's what a spendable is. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys hey. rehearse this. Nice. Not, Not really. No. Not <laughs> Just really. like this podcast, it's totally off the cuff. Well, play date. Tell us about play date, please. Play date. So we're, we'll start from today and go backwards. So we do a family-friendly music, rock music for families. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We Great. just played out here in Long Island. Uh-huh. We played two shows today. One at the, at the Planting Fields Arboretum and one at the Freeport Library. And it's pretty much a project Shanti and I started four years ago. We write songs we like and hopefully parents will like and kids will like and they can kind of like enjoy music together. We kind of do a, a rock show 101 where some kids, it's their first time ever seeing live music before. So we um, kind of encourage them how to act at a rock show. Like, hey, today everyone here is your friend. So if you fall down, help 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 someone up. And uh, yeah, it's rock show. We're here to make noise. They, they learn the basics. When Greg's doing yeah, a solo, survival. you go, woo! <laughs> you know? Yeah, you taught, you teach awesome. them how to say what rad is, what yes. the meaning exactly. of rad That's is. Right. How That's right. How to be rad and how to get rad. We write a song with them and it's different every single time. So right. That, that, That's awesome. Oh, so Colors is your version of favorite 80s movies kind right? of it's yeah. it's around <laughs> they get to call out putting the same tricks in the, yeah uh, there you go into the play day thing. so yeah. when they grow up and go to their first shows they're gonna be like i, I know what to do yeah exactly. Exactly. i know the protocol exactly i know the etiquette that's yeah. it and to, I, to bring it back to movies yes uh shanti is, your family has oh, been good. involved in a sort of classic Yes. Can you talk about that a little? That so we're going way true. back. So we were starting. We started. We started from the middle. Then we were going to present day. And now we're going way back. Way back. Mm-hmm. Way okay. back. We're actually going to the eighties. Oh. Eighty. Okay. What yeah. year? Oh. Okay. Eighty one. Nineteen eighty one. Okay. My family created a movie called Boarding House. Boarding House. Right. Boarding and House. Everybody's Googling that now, as they should. Yes. It's pretty incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, and, you know, years later, we find out and only have found out that uh, mm-hmm. my dad was the, the first guy to shoot on video and blow it up to 35 millimeter. But quickly, oh, wow. let's, let's explain what Boarding House is. Okay. If you can. That's so, pretty hard. <laughs> I can explain that Shanti's parents are musicians and actors from way back. They started doing music in the 60s and 70s, and they had, were in different various bands, and they toured around the world, and then decided they wanted to make a campy horror movie. So Shanti's dad was like, how funny would it be if we made a horror movie that was funny? Because no one had ever made one yet. Mm-hmm. It, now it's a genre. So um, he wrote the script, and pretty much... They made it just from their friends in a, with a small budget, and they could only afford to shoot it on video. And then they wanted it Which released. Which was still it. something pretty new yeah, at the right. time. Yeah, right. Yeah. No sure. one had really done it. Right. They had a distributor that was going to have it released in theaters, but with their budget, they could only it cost more to blow it up to film than the whole rest of the shooting cost. That's crazy. That's crazy. So that's why um, it's a little note. A footnote in history that it was one of the first yeah. fil- feature films to be blown up from video and the first of a genre. And really. it's this yeah. strange, yeah. Um, you know, kind of horror, kind of campy, overacted, um, amazing uh, 
taste of weirdness yeah, with some like bizarre. metaphysical it's, things tied in and you're like where's that genre? coming from yeah it's, it's mind-blowing it's insane it's there's not it's a little gory you can't describe it really it's yeah it's like it's made on another planet it's yeah really and i actually so um my parents actually had a collection of their music released by drag city records this last february and drag city didn't realize until the record was almost coming out that my parents were behind the movie boarding house so they got very excited and decided with the release of this music they were going to start screening boarding house with it um oh so it's been like going it's been making around yeah yeah. showing it's kind of yeah it's kind of having a little resurgence for it guys and um so this past february i was invited to go to a screening in la which was really, really awesome because I had never seen it on 35 millimeter, and um, I hadn't seen it on a big screen or with an audience before. Oh, the audience must have loved it. Right? Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. And these are probably people who have been like following the movie or they're fans of the movie. Yes. For years. Yes. And, this, and they get to see it on the big screen. Yeah, and um, you know, I have lived with this movie my entire life pretty much sure and been terrorized by it um by my brother and uh well, so i have a different other, relationship were any of your other family members in it or like yeah well um family friends shanti's but, actually in it too are you yeah, in it yeah, yeah. In it? my brother and i are i'm like a baby and i'm, I'm walking down the street with my brother oh no yeah, that's in the awesome beginning. yeah um so it was really incredible to see it in an uh a theater with an audience and everyone's laughing at all the right points and the jokes even play even bigger because it's on a big screen in in a way that they they didn't really play to me as well on a smaller screen so well an audience totally changes the dynamic of any movie going yes Mm -hmm. so it was it was really great um and i got to do a little intro before there were some fun people there. Um, some TV actors were there and writers that I didn't really, I wasn't familiar with. And they were um, like fans of the movie? Total fans of the movie. You didn't expect that to happen. I, I didn't. Just, I did not expect that to happen. That is so cool. But it, it, it's so cool that this movie has taken on a life of its own, uh-huh. unbeknownst to my parents even, because mm-hmm. some things happened after the creation of the movie initially, the distributor... It, it went into theaters and then not like six months or a year later, I think the distributor passed away. Oh, so it, oh, it no. didn't get it, the uh, wide, wide audience. Yeah, that. it kind of got lost. It was already a pretty strange movie. I don't know if it would have gotten that wide mm-hmm. um, uh, audience before. But sure. um, yeah, he passed away and my parents kind of lost track of the rights and everything, even though. They created it. Mm-hmm. And um, only after years later, when we moved to a small town in Idaho and realized that the neighbors had just rented this movie called Boarding House. <laughs> what? That's, yeah. yeah. Did they realize that it was released on video? <laughs> oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. Um, That's cool. So anyway, I'm ranting now. About so, how m- this. Like, uh, so how many screenings have there been? Like, did you, There was a screening in Idaho or like you were in there Los was, Angeles? Or? There was a screening in Idaho um, at a at a, a music festival that also has a little film festival called Tree Fort. Oh, and, cool. Um, oh, you guys live in Idaho? Yeah. yeah so. We live in Idaho, and it got screened there, and it got screened in L.A., and it was just really neat. I, I have kind of a little story about um, what happened at the screening there. Tell the story. All right. It might, it might help us. Okay. Come up with an idea yeah, we gotta, for a movie. We gotta get pitch. this thing going, right? Yeah, I, know. I know, I know. We, we gotta get we, pitching. We need an idea, but you never know, know where inspiration You never go. know where the inspiration oh, comes you're from. Right, okay. right, that's true. So, um, we're, I, I'm at the screening, and people are like, there, Vincent Gallo's here. Vincent Gallo's here. And I'm, I'm like, I couldn't oh, picture in my head who Vincent Gallo was. Maybe oh, obviously, brown, brown I know. Bunny. Maybe yeah. we should write Vincent Gallo into our movie. Yeah. Oh, he needs a part. There you go. He needs a part. He he needs a part. He so need Vincent work. Gallo, if you guys don't remember Vincent Gallo, like he was in mm. Brown Bunny, Buffalo, Buffalo 66. Six, Buffalo 66 was he amazing. He wrote and directed Buffalo 66. Yeah. Such an I excellent believe. movie with Christina yeah. Ricci. Yep. Yeah. Great film. Yeah. And uh, he's been kind of iconic in the independent movie scene for a oh, long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Long well, time. And infamous? Yeah. Yes, um, infamous. He was right there in the front row with his bag of popcorn, 
just uh, like I can't even awesome. imagine. That is wild. Just like ready to watch. So he a was like, house. so he was like, oh, so he's like a, a long time. Fan. Yeah. So uh, that's what I I took from it. I the the movie started, and I'm like, hopefully is I'll be able Los to Angeles talk to him or? after in in Los Angeles. Oh, okay, so the movie's yeah. showing that. Hopefully I'll be able to talk to him after and find out what his story is of mm-hmm. boarding house like, because why the hell are you here? I really need to know yeah. what this story is. How did you, how did he find boarding house? Yeah. Um, so the movie played, it was awesome. And then uh, afterwards um, people were coming up and just saying, thanks for introducing myself and the movie. And um, uh, they wanted to know about my parents and Vincent Gallo comes up and he said, thank you. And, and I was like, oh, thank you for coming. And, you have to tell me what your story is. Of, you said that to him. Of boarding house, yeah. Uh-huh. And he's just like, oh, I, yeah, of course. Uh, it, you know, he, he's just like, it's actually a pretty great story. So, and then he, he sets the scene. He's like, well, uh, I used to be really great friends with Joey Ramone. And I said, yeah? And he goes, well, Joey Ramone and I, we used to have movie nights at uh at each other's place Crazy. where we would like share our favorite like movies with each other you know i don't know how often I it was i can't picture like as like, just joey ramon like yeah come over and we'll watch movies yeah. you know maybe like, the <laughs> opening scene to our movies yeah. guys and he it might be oh, a movie, night. movie yes. night with okay. joey ramon of just the, the craziest <laughs> people showing up to this movie not yeah. the typical ramon's story no it's Okay. That's what's that's what's freaking a great. Movie gone awry with the Ramones. Right. It's not like a music bio movie. <laughs> no. It's like Joey Ramone. Yeah, it's, it's like a fan fiction type of thing. And Vincent Gallo Where? watching movies. <laughs> right. Maybe they go into the television. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. So we were talking about this last Whoa. week. Did you hear that that story about um, they're making a movie about Michael Jackson and Marlon Brando and Elizabeth no. Taylor? No. So this is a what? true life story yeah. of like these three real life and felt Corey Feldman. Mm. Well, Corey Feldman's not in the movie, but Corey like, Feldman. so like when nine eleven happened, um, those three iconic figures were in New York City. I think uh-huh. Michael Jackson was doing a show, and they were like, mm-hmm. "Let's get the fuck out of Dodge." Right. Mm-hmm. So they got in a car it's together, and they were like, all got in a car together. Michael to like Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, they had a bus, I think, and Marlon. Oh, so the bus? Jacksons had a bus, I think. Well, I think because I and the, Whoa. But with the thing with this Whoa. movie is let's do the, let's do the, let's, do the, let's do all of them well, in a car. What a combination! <laughs> this is what I yeah, this road, is what trip. I <laughs> road trip. I pictured Thelma and Louise type of <laughs> road trip because yeah, the movie sounds like it's supposed to be a road trip of these three people. Yeah, but then. Also, the weird thing about it's it terrible is, is that Joseph jo- Joseph yeah. Fiennes is Very playing terrible. Michael Jackson in the movie. What? Yeah. yeah, the casting is kind of stunty casting or something wild. like that. So I wild wish stuff. we could have uh, had video for just a moment of both of you going, "Yeah," because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the identical uh, yeah. face yeah. and the sound. Well, that's yeah. what happens when you've been working with someone for almost twenty years. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we have yeah, the same ticks. But so so let's cast. Yeah. So maybe we should take that kind of cue with casting. Yeah, I mean, do you want to yeah. do Vincent Gallo? And, I mean, is your story? I'm sorry, is your story over or Vincent Gallo's story? No, over? no, it's not over yet. Oh, okay, okay finish. Okay, yeah, let's get there. Let's get that's there. okay. That's okay. I just um, thought of I Michael mean, Jackson. All of that was really important. Okay, so <laughs> it's getting us to that next step. Yeah. So he proceeds to tell me that they used to have movie nights and that uh, Boarding House was one of Joey Ramone's favorite movies. And that over the course of their friendship, that they probably watched it over 20 times. Oh, 20 yeah. times. Yeah. And then he did an impersonation of Joey Ramone <laughs> talking about Boarding House. And it was something like this. I'm not going to do it justice at all. But it was just like, yeah, it's got like hot chicks and it's got some gore. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> I don't remember what else he said, but it was kind of amazing to see him just like oh my God, give this incredible. impersonation. I can't yeah, imagine Joey Ramone watching any. Th- Anything of my parents yeah. twenty times. <laughs> he must. I mean, how could he not have the hots for my mom? My mom is That's in boarding house. Probably. Why, did yeah. did yeah. Vincent Gallo yeah. say anything that Joey Ramone was like a fan of? Oh, I'm sure. So maybe that that was the hot, yeah. the hot yeah. chick and the, the hot that he was. Oh mom. yeah, he liked your mom. It was my mom. Right, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Shanti's mom works with that song for sure. <laughs> So anyway, that was pretty special and pretty awesome. It was like some kind of validation for me about this movie that had I had kind of been embarrassed about for half my life, you know. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, when you're a teenager and your parents, your parents yeah, embarrass Shanti's you. Yeah, perspective of it is. Oh, yeah. And when you start, yeah. when, you, when you start meeting in the middle. Oh you yeah. Just, you start to realize that they're people too, but then your parents particularly yeah. were cool ass people. And then you got to see cool it. things. Yeah, you got to see it through everybody else's oh, eyes totally. too. Oh, totally. And it's bananas. Oh, so, it's totally. Yeah, I have yeah. to see this. Now movie. you can appreciate. Yeah, it. I have to see this. Movie. The, the VHS tape only cost what, like two or three hundred dollars, probably. Probably does, does at Suncoast this point. video still exist? Yeah, maybe. So you go down to Suncoast. I've seen, Suncoast like used to sell like seventy. I've seen some people post because it got bootlegged all over the world because mm-hmm. it didn't re- it wasn't Is there a Blu-ray? Uh, <laughs> uh of there, course. There is, yeah. There, what wasn't isn't there? I think there's so. Yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah. There's like a director's cut or like an expanded version yeah. of it. With from, commentary uh, by Joey Ramone and Vincent Gallo. Oh, what's the yeah, we're going like to do that. Favorite part, Red, you know? was it? Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm doing Sylvester Stallone. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. But even that's out of print. I now. think it almost like right? doubled the length so. of the movie. What did? Which is just crazy. I saw, I saw the, the director's the, cut. Oh, the director's cut? I saw cut? the YouTube video of the distributor unboxing the, like, the beta tapes and things. Oh, that's hilarious. And he's like, I'm going to put this thing back together. Whoa. It was crazy, yeah. So there's real insane hardcore fans yeah mm-hmm. i've seen people post like pictures of a dozen different cover images of like they're they're all different videos that they've collected over the years from like all over the world that all have different cover art and stuff mm-hmm. yeah. okay so we have so we have the base the basis base of idea. idea okay okay and it's uh Famous rock stars mm-hmm. and their favorite movie. Okay, they mm-hmm. love this movie so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, they watch it all the time. They have parties. <laughs> now, what happens? Like Greg, you said, do they enter the world of the movie or something like that? How about I just? It's just maybe. Which sounds awesome. I got a possible title. Ooh. Oh, all right. we're, at, we're at titles already. Here oh we go. Oh my goodness! Okay. Let's, here, let's do it. Movie night. Movie night. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it makes sense. Pretty on the nose, but and there has not been a movie called Movie, movie Night. night. Yet. No, no, no. Right. All right, all right. No. Let's go right. for Movie it's Night. Open, movie it's night. It's available. So are we gonna go with like Vincent Gallo and, and Joey Ramone are hosting a movie night? <laughs> what happened the, to in the eighties? Is it taking place in the eighties? Maybe nineties? I don't know. The eighties is it future? The future? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does it? Does it start? Just start with Vincent Gallo and Joey Ramone on the couch, <laughs> and they're chatting about movie night. They're chatting about what they watched last week. Yeah, they're eating pizzas. Movie night. Yeah, uh-huh. and then yes, like maybe it just shoots off in a way from them to who knows into another movie. Okay, that they're watching. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what if this? You go anywhere from there. What if? Oh, wait, wait. It's what like if this is kind of stay a, tuned with with John Ritter? Well, no. no. What if this? Wait, wait. What if this is kind of one of those? Um, what do you call it? Not vignettes, but like like VHS or like um, oh, an anthology. An anthology. It's an anthology movie. Really? Mm. Where so okay. we could go anywhere with this. So it's an anthology movie where. Um, it's Joey Ramone, Vincent Gallo. Maybe we'll get two other people, some like mm-hmm. weird, like Debbie Harry or something, or like. Nice. And they're having a movie night. It's like 1986, 87. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have like a very VHS and, feel and he to just it. Got the v, v, like VCR. Yeah. So you got, so we're watching right. some VCR, right. and then so like, they, <laughs> they they all have stacks of VHS, and everyone's supposed to bring their own movie. Mm-hmm. So then they plop it in, but then now within when we we get to see what they're watching. So oh. it's like little oh, fifteen minute right. shorts, and it's an anthology. Oh, I like that! I like that! Um, I like that! Like Creep Show, okay. yeah. Like, or, or like Creep Show, or um, what other movies? There's there was tons of movies like that in the eighties. Yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. Anthologies kind of came back recently too. Yeah, with a and VHS and VHS they, one, kind of went away again. two, yeah. and eighties of death. Specifically. Yeah. Mm. So this could be like this a, could horror be a horror comedy. Yeah. comedy. Yeah. They don't do like they yeah. don't do anthologies, uh, you know. Aside from like horror. Or, well, actually, do you do remember they, like, um, Kentucky Fried Movie? Yeah. Or what was the other yeah, one? Those like are like that? vignettes, you know. Those are like vignettes. So we could probably do something like that. Because like that remember, could be cool. Uh, Amazon Women on the Moon. Uh huh. Yeah. Where <laughs> Amazon Women on the Moon was a guy. Uh-huh. He was like watching TV and like that was like changing channels and then like. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit more linear. But then, of, yeah, but, but then, like his whatever he was watching also came back to him, and he'd be on some weird adventure. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, the guy in those boxers. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind up on the moon, <laughs> dude. I love those yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. But then also, was it Amazon and Women on the Moon who had that um, like fifteen minute Bruce Lee short, or was that a Kentucky Fried movie? That's Kentucky Fried movie. Well, I like I those. With those. The, uh, I have what? I have one question though. Okay. Can we have James Earl Jones? 
yeah. in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be one of the... <laughs> how, about, how about he is... Can, what, where is James Earl Jones? He does. I, he's still... He, you're watching CNN. He's, he's in a yeah, voiceover booth somewhere. Yeah, he, yeah, exactly. He it's, probably does, makes a killing with his voice. Yeah, probably. Right. Or not even. He's just... I bet people just like, like the... Like the uh, audio equipment we have, people just go to to wherever he is. <laughs> yeah, right. And he's like on the couch. I am on the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, can you just say you're watching CNN? Oh, you're watching CNN. No, actually, they um they just uh the news came out that he's gonna be in the new Star Wars. He's gonna be in Rogue One. Oh, as the voice is going to be. Yeah, yeah. Darth Vader is gonna be in in the prequel. Well, if if we if you think if you think of James Earl Jones, he's got to be some kind of wonderful. All powerful, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. being or something. So maybe he's some maybe kind he's of like, controlling. Yeah. the like in a world where he's controlling the, right. the world of oh, vignettes. So he's like the master. Like, their, their, like, their fates, and maybe that's some kind of right. game for them or something like oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. And, and we have to have like we have to have kind of <laughs> motivations for them too. If they're if they're if they're sitting down and they and they put in the first tape, mm-hmm. and they're transported. Are they transported or is it is it just what they're watching? Like is, is, is I don't know what story? should we do? What do you think I Captain think, Hollywood would would uh, I think, I think I the um, Admiral Hollywood I'm would thinking like. box office right now. I mean yeah, I'm, just, you know, box I'm, not, office. I'm not thinking creative. No, they I'm they land money. in a world and they're naked. Wait, Joey <laughs> Ramone? Naked? Yeah. <laughs> and they have to find their clothes. Well, who would play Joey Ramone? <laughs> Isn't that like a new a new stupid TV episode? <laughs> TV show? Naked and afraid naked, or something? Yeah, naked and afraid. Like they're blasted into reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Ramone and Vincent Gallo are naked and afraid. So they're just on a current TV show suddenly? Suddenly. How did we get they, here? They thought they were going to have a relaxing movie night. And then, and then suddenly they're transported and they're, there's cameras on them and they're like, what the fuck is going on? And they're subjects And then they have their survive in the wild. They're subjects of an experiment where they're naked. Hey, do you know how to make a fire? <laughs> wow! I do and not want to see start singing ever. ever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they both have like thick. Sorry, I, I blew I blew us way off track there. <laughs> no, 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 this is my This is a Joey Ramone. I'm just, you know, this is good. I'm thinking I mean, you said text. big box office, and I'm like naked, <laughs> <laughs> naked Joe dead Ramone rock star, nude. <laughs> big bucks. <laughs> so, oh, Debbie Harry, big bucks, nude. Maybe because like the if this is made if this was made next year. For big like it's, this is gonna, this movie is going to be competing with um, oh it's episode springtime. eight no it's oh it's, it's going against no. Marvel Star Wars it's everything going up, oh. Oh, so this movie is going up again well this is like in the, the art house yeah yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, there's it, no it's counter programming counter right. I was gonna say alternate programming thank <laughs> right. you counter, counter programming to yeah. uh, the next Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man movie yes. yeah yeah right mm-hmm. so we gotta think we need. We need some like young name, star. We need name, like yeah, I don't hot, even know they're not was, hot like, actors, but they're they are going to be playing so, these right. iconic. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. like Zac Efron's going to be playing Vincent Gallo or something. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. There we go. I always say I always say Zac Efron, even though I hate Zac Efron. We started Zac Efron. Then we go we down, always, down the, the yeah. Ball. We always, like he's like a like a, a star starter idea mm. casting. Right. Well, you don't have to go young. You can go like you know Tom Cruise too. You can oh. go you know try okay. true. Tom Cruise is oh, Joey right. Ramone. He's played, <laughs> he's, he's played he's taller people anything. before. Like he's like my height, but he some lifts on him. He'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> some leg like, oh, extensions, foot long lifts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy can do anything. All he right? can do anything. He cannot go. Man, up. I kind of want to see that. Tom, Tom Cruise Cru- is Joey Ramone. <laughs> yeah, man, come on. So anyone who That's any graphic any graphic artist out there, we always encourage our listeners who yeah. are very talented in making uh, posters to make the posters, and we're gonna start off with. Uh, Tom Cruise dressed up as Joey Ramone. Yeah. Tom Cruise playing. So if you can make a poster, <laughs> start. Tom Cruise as Joey Ramone in Movie Night. All right. Sitting, sitting next to, sitting sitting next to Gallo to, on the couch. Is Vincent Gallo going to play Wait, Vincent Zach, Gallo? Zach Efron is, is Vincent Gallo. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. There we go. So like these two really short actors. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. These two actors who are 5'7", playing... Both really tall. Well, what about people. what about the guy? I don't I don't know his name, but who plays the young Darth Vader on <laughs> Adam Driver, right? Yeah, he. What Hayden Ramone. Christensen? Oh, no, no, that's not. Oh, Hayden oh Adam, Adam Driver. Driver. Adam Driver was. Oh, Joey Ramone. Joey Ramone. Would, oh my He's God, Ramone. he would be perfect who, who as jo- Adam Driver. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's like right. six six. Right? Yeah. Okay. Six, five. Okay. Good. He's okay. got that weird face. And he, and he was in Star Wars. Yeah. Perfect. And he was in Star Wars. Okay. You know, uh, sorry, Tom Cruise. You just got booted so, out of movie mm-hmm. night. Once now we have him. Adam Driver's Joey Ramone. I think we maybe should try to get Vincent Gallo. Well, Vincent Gallo is not very tall. Oh, he's not? No. 
Okay. Okay. So Vincent okay. Gallo. So okay. Tom Cruise could be Vincent Gallo. So too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so, just trying to get Tom Cruise in our yeah. movie because we're going to be competing right. with uh, Action okay. Man Wait a 13. Second. Wait. Maybe Tom Cruise can play himself too and we'll have... They should Risky be business, TV. Tom Cruise? Yes. Risky yes. business. Yes. Since he kind of looks like he did back then anyway. Yes. yes. He could just be Tom Cruise. Yeah. Changed. Tom and you Cruise. never knew that they were all friends. No. He's going to enter no, He's going to enter the movie sliding in on his socks. Can and take an opening shot. Into the living room. He's going to enter the living room with a bowl of popcorn. Yeah. And they don't want him to Moving be there, but he just night. shows up. And he shows up the same way each time. Right. Right? Yeah. Go, Greg. What, what do you Opening got? Opening shot, panning on, out on 1980s <laughs> New York City, right? Yeah. The, yeah. The camera Greg's raising his hands. In, in, yes, Greg. Into the apartment. There's okay. Joey Ramone, played as that dude. Adam but Driver. Adam Driver. <laughs> sitting next to Vincent Gallo as, as himself. As Vincent Gallo. <laughs> what are we going to watch tonight? I don't know. <laughs> You know, Joey Ramos. You got those tapes over there. I yeah. think we should watch Risky Business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay. Let's the, do our Risky Business. The scene business. happens. The infamous scene. Again? You want to watch it again? <laughs> right, right. Can't That's stop it. watching it. They turn on Risky Business and they're sucked into Risky Business. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. It's, Tom Cruise is there and is <laughs> happening. But now Tom Cruise <laughs> is stuck in Risky <laughs> Business. <laughs> Or he's talking to them, so it's like it's almost like a it's like a cheap version of like a, um, um, Purple Rose of Cairo, where he's like they just he just turns like hey man, hey hey are you hey. watching me yeah, yeah. Okay. right right, right. right. Okay. hey he's like wait a minute is this real am I in here yeah okay yeah how would it, how awesome would it be if the Tom Cruise of let's today let's trash the house <laughs> acting in as he was oh. in Risky Business exactly wait 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 okay okay say? let's put a pin in that I have something. <laughs> I have like okay. Let's put a pin in that. Go, okay, I got something after that. All right, okay. so oh. I'm taking the idea of like what go, Bill and Ted's go, excellent go, go, adventure go. did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead of them yes. going, okay. Okay. instead of them going into the movie, they start watching movies and and Tom Cruise turns around and they start pulling people out of the movie. Yes. Okay. Okay. So okay, they're because, like, okay, yeah. because the VCR is like something mystical, the VCR something magical. Wrong with it. The okay. Yes. The VCR. Yeah, the, the VCR is like. It's got a glitch. Yeah, you gotta have like. Uh, like it's Pleasantville when Don Knotts was like, you know, he gave the, like the thing, the the, the, v, the VCR. I know, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, so uh, Joey Ramone's watching a movie. Vincent Gallo's like, Joey goes, "Hey, why don't you make that that punch you like?" Oh, the tracking. He starts, he starts, he's like, <laughs> he starts, tracking. he starts making <laughs> drinks for them. Just he starts making tracking. drinks, and then Vincent Gallo, <laughs> Vincent Gallo strips and he. Spills the drink all over the VCR. Well, like hot time machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice try. No, but it's not time but. travel. So like whatever movie they put in, so they keep putting okay, in fine, 80s right, movies right. and then they keep pulling people out. What about something oh, so with they're like collecting, the tracking? They're collecting Remember this is great. tracking this is great. on the Yeah, the, the tracking should come tracking. into play later. The oh, okay, like, okay, Maybe okay. that's... Because they're going to have like, to figure out how to put everyone back like, in the like movies. Like Bill and Ted, remember the antenna got fucked up? Like maybe they have to figure out the tracking thing. This is all amazing. I have added an extra element to it, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, what? once they figure all this crazy thing out, this VCR, this like golden weird VCR, yeah. they figure out it's happening in the VCR, right? Yeah. Cut away to like the like secret men in black lair, oh, right? No. They okay. are trying to okay. find this VCR, right? It's they've got like they're these are like oh, men in the black. Oh, hunt is out. Oh, so they're like the repairmen or something. No, no, they're, no. They're like no, no. They're called the they're repairmen. Like, they're yes. like black ops. Quote, oh, repairmen. Yeah, black. Okay, so the, so this so this machine kind of slipped out of their yes. lab or something. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> or they know about <laughs> somebody who made it. You know, they oh. know about the creation machine. Right, They've okay. been searching for this since so, the, what, what other, since okay, the 80s. Okay, how about this? How since about, the 80s. How about this technology actually created all those movies? Like, those movies weren't actually made by everybody. <laughs> like, these, these are like... These are like fantasies that were captured into this machine. To manipulate. Yes. So they were real. And kind of. it's used for propaganda in other countries. Yeah. To yes. manipulate, yeah. like, yeah. you know, the Middle East and, like, be yes. like anti-American <laughs> and want to fight wars and yes. stuff. Yes. No, but so what other movies are they, what other movies and movie characters are they pulling out? Are they pulling out, let's watch Rambo, and they pull yes. some best of their own. Terminator. Well, term, oh, they pull out the yeah. Terminator. Terminator. Yeah, all these out? 80s yeah. iconic mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Where's Mr. Hollywood, guys? Get him in here. Oh, Dude, Mr. This Hollywood. Sounds pretty this, is, this could be like Rod. No, this is like Roger Rabbit. This could all happen 80s. in one living room. It all oh yeah. God. There you go. It takes place in one well, living room. And it could, so it could be a play too. On oh, oh. Yeah. so it could be on Broadway. And then Joey Ramone is like, "Hey, we could start a band." And then they start, <laughs> so there's like musical. Joey vignettes. Ramone is is stuck at a certain age too. Vince yes. Gallo's like the age he is uh, now. Timeless. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so so when they pull out, 
when they pull out these characters from these famous movies, right? Mm -hmm. Why are they pulling them out? It doesn't matter. Because they want to have fun because it's a boring (laughs) Tuesday night. Because the movie night usually sucks. Maybe it has to happen accidentally the first time. It has to happen accidentally. Then they figure out, like, maybe we should try to get... Arnold Schwarzenegger well, so they pop in a funny, a funny scene okay, would be okay, like okay. There's pull. no fate but we make for ourselves <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no that's fate, the, that's the, they become crazy they become like <laughs> oh my god we, 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 can, we have like the pick they of the litter they think they're on drugs we can make the I, greatest I, I, movie night of all time oh. if we get all of our favorite characters here but when they pull the characters out of these stories uh-huh. The world starts to change, like time travel, oh. like it's some kind of paradox. Right, it's like it okay. messes but up the Vincent, whole. Vincent, it Vincent Gallo, up the history of everything. Continuum. Vincent As Gallo is like, real. "Hey, uh, Tom Cruise and Risky Business, have you ever seen uh, Terminator?" And he's like, "I've never <laughs> seen that movie." So they keep popping in his movies. <laughs> so there's gonna be scenes where, like, yeah, Tom Cruise, they're all yeah. watch, they're all sitting on the couch and watching movies, and all of a sudden Schwarzenegger comes out, and then yeah. Joey Ramone's like. Hey Terminator, you ever watch? Uh, it gets really <laughs> awkward because nobody knows. You ever watch Red? You ever watch Roadhouse? And then all of a sudden, Terminator's yeah. like, "I have never <laughs> watched Roadhouse." <laughs> and all of a sudden, Patrick Swayze comes out. Oh, hell yeah! And yeah. then Dalt. back from the. T- Roadhouse. This is good stuff, and this is this really ties in with the Bill and Ted's thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, this is good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So, wait, so what's their high school? Pre- like so, so Bill and Ted had a high school presentation for this. Right. And then the, the overarching storyline right. is that they're supposed to be the greatest rock band of all time in the future. Right. So what is other than the the we need repair the man? Yeah. What is the motivation for yeah. Joey and Vincent Gallo to hang out mm-hmm. with all these iconic characters? Well, yeah. maybe Joey wants to like I, I want to write a new song. Well, I think I think the um the con- the conflict becomes happens when the black ops people this is want to get th- yeah. the thing and they have to protect it. And James Earl Jones is, the, is still the boss. Oh, yeah. James Earl Jones. James, James Earl okay. Jones. Is he himself? Uh, somehow he, <laughs> yeah. he's himself okay. like From what uh, in a chair doing a voiceover. <laughs> Sandlot. <laughs> so you know they're like, mean? you know whose voice I oh, want to yeah, hear right in the now? Sandlot. And then they go. He was the dog owner. <laughs> the beast. <laughs> okay, okay. So I don't know so how. So they're being pursued now? Well, something happened. Yeah, like something happens where the they okay. find out either the black ops guys show up or they get threatened. They find out that the VCR is like this amazing technology. This is where it's coming from. Yeah, we've got Arnold Schwarzenegger here. We've got all these people here now. We've got Dalton. it's like the Expendables, mm-hmm. but cooler. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. When they were sort young, young like the Expendables. And like, yes, okay. so how about when they were Patrick young. And in it? Kick- so how about yes. how about Ramon starts getting a little like crazy? He's like, "Hey, we, we're unstoppable now." And then and then uh, maybe yeah. um, can we get Nicholas Cage in there from like Raising Arizona? <laughs> Or um, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah like Valley Quir- Girl. It's like the Quirky Arizona's yeah, yeah. my favorite. From, from okay. The Quirky right. Expendables, you know, not the quirk, like, yeah, 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 you know what I mean, ones. like eighties, like uh, oh, we could get like Ash from Evil Dead, Bender yeah. from Breakfast Club. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Breakfast Club's yeah, gotta yeah, come out. Yeah. Sure, sure, absolutely, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta get some. Yeah, get Anthony Michael Hall then. Too. Yeah, uh, good like, Anthony Michael. Like, like, oh, can we have? Can two Anthony Michael Halls come? Can Weird Science <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall? <laughs> Wait, and there's no females so far. Fight. Oh, so thank you. Okay, sorry. Uh, there's sorry, no yeah, iconic yeah. female. Sorry. Okay, who That's is That's why <laughs> Shanti is here. We Shanti, you're the first female guest. I don't know be- why we, we haven't done this before. Yeah. So, Molly Ringwald. Breaking new ground. <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Yeah. Which, which, mm-hmm. which well, Molly maybe, Ringwald? Maybe Molly Ringwald will duplicate up. Like 16 it'll be, Candles? Yeah, it'll, it'll be 16 All the Molly Ringwalds. There's going to be all of them. three or four Molly from And We're going to make our dream list. And we'll okay. trip it down okay. a little bit later. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So no, we we could triple up Molly Ringwald, yeah, from yeah. from three ri- three yeah, Ringwalds, and then they're gonna fight three to the death eventually. They're gonna have to like three you know, Ringwalds. <laughs> three Ringwald. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, only so, Molly Ringwald. So, so I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think remote. <laughs> She'd be into that now. I think. Yeah, she'll do it. She yeah. needs, she needs the job. They could, they could, th- so, they could triple her up like they did in Social Network too. Where they so, doubled great. up that actor. <laughs> so, so uh, Army Hammer. So Joey Ramone becomes like, like kind of maniacal about this. Okay? Yes, he thinks he can control them all. Mm-hmm. Okay, but he can't. And uh, or should should it be Vincent Gallo because he's oh. kind of villainous? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't, so don't want to go against type. No, I want I want Joey and Vincent Gallo. It'd be hilarious to have like Joey a very Ramon like I want them like to be like a like a like a, a classic comedic duo buddies buddy yeah. like a but yeah I want Joey to have like a Ren and Stimpy type of 
chemistry <laughs> where Vince and Cal's like, oh, you idiot. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, Ren. Like, <laughs> Joey's just kind of like, a, like a, a doofy, like, uh. lovable lug. Yeah. Like a big lug. Yeah. Okay. Because if, you're gonna, if we're going to do this, yeah, if, were, if we're going to do this type of movie, like All a Bill right. and yeah. Ted, okay. or they should have like a, like a very, like, you know, Vincent Gal should take off his hat and hit Joey in the head every right. so often. So, but Greg was going back to the motivation of them doing this, or was it? And and it's like, well, I are they doing it out of boredom or what? I was like, thinking, yeah, you know, they <laughs> starts off as boredom. They're just bored. So yeah. they just starts <laughs> off as boredom. One of them accidentally. The best things you know, too, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of them accidentally trips in and falls into the TV and grabs by accidentally falls in there and then grabs someone by accident. That's how they discover it, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So then they go through this Happens cycle. Happens to be Jason. Of Maybe oh, Jason. Friday the Thirteenth. Maybe maybe they maybe all the stars get all crazy and they have to get like Jason or Freddy oh. to take them all out. Yeah, oh, like maybe yeah. it gets crazy. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna kill off all these <laughs> so iconic, the blob. Or something. They gotta get, like, they're gonna kill off all these iconic '80s characters and they're all gonna die. Yeah, because like it, they're gonna come to a point where they want them to leave and they can't leave, right? Because yeah, the movie, well, movie night has to end eventually. Or or <laughs> they all they're realize the importance of this technology. Yeah, they're okay. using it to have okay. fun. And All right. maybe it's somehow, I, it's not occurring to me how, but like the black ops like somehow come <laughs> yeah. in and try to take it. Somebody runs down the alley with it, you know what I mean? Okay. Then it's a chase. Oh, so there's a chase. So what you has to get out. Yeah. Okay. What if, and what if it's like kind of like a commentary on the way characters used to be a little quirky oh, and character okay. and how they become plasticky oh, and a little yeah, yeah, less well, we, de- just, we just had um, we just had a guest uh, we just had Jake and, on here recently and, and the powers that be don't want that to okay, happen so wait, the, they don't want like original characters they don't want yep. they, they, they don't want, want them to be just, uh, they just want these kind of manufactured stars like yes. Kardashians and shit yes. right yes. so we just okay. had we just had uh, Jake our friend Jake uh-huh. as a, um, a guest here recently yeah. yeah and he's like a teacher he teaches cinema school he uh-huh. teaches film and he made it he said uh, we almost it was like a class his episode mm-hmm. because he said one of the most important things that uh, movies need to do is have a message right yeah. so would that that would be our mes- would yeah. That yeah. Be the message yeah yeah, yeah. That, is that that's what, good yeah. The, like the underlying subtle commentary mm-hmm. would be like we're the lacking substance. Th- we're lacking substance. Okay. In okay. Film. Right. So, yeah. so those black op people are like th- maybe they're working for a large corporation who are like these star these old stars are a threat to our new stars. Yes. That's it. And yes. James Earl Jones is like the like the studio boss or something like. That. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah, Captain yeah. Hollywood, or he's like yeah. the corporate. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's Mr. like Hollywood. CEO. Well, Mr. Hollywood <laughs> like this. Uh oh, we might. Be- uh-oh. Oh no. Uh oh. This is Fuck always, him. always the problem. <laughs> you know, right? you know, he is the man. Uh, you know Mr. what though? You know what though? Mr. Hollywood is not that smart. But you know what? What I heard Mr. about <laughs> the universe though too is they have to have movies that actually speak about what is actually exactly. happening. He might exactly. be like, look, I, you know, I take this personally, guys, but you know, but the you, idea is so damn good. Hey, that's you know, right. I think he might let so it go. Yeah. Is he a yeah. smart so, businessman? If we yeah. make a movie, a business move. if we this make a, a movie move. about okay. it, people right. won't believe it's real. Okay, yeah. so this is awesome. So you now know? we have like a dozen or so like famous 80s, like real like talented characters, like real movie stars, mm-hmm. you know, the Goonies. based on talent. Oh, right? can the yeah. Goonies <laughs> Josh <laughs> Brolin. Josh in the Brolin. Goonies. So then the you know, Josh Brolin's gonna be he's gonna be one of the uh, the uh, the black ops guys. Yes. I heard about yes. that. So Josh Brolin's gonna be a black ops guy. <laughs> I heard him be gonna be cast in that. In that. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, There's rumors. I thought you were talking about like, <laughs> <sorry, laughs> right, another right. Marvel thing. Yeah. He's gonna be in. Like, <laughs> so so okay. So, so we have Josh Brolin as a black op. Yes, yes. for okay. sure. He'd yes. be awesome as a so, black op. So op. now they see like maybe maybe this gets on the news and they're like, oh my god, these people are back. Like. And right. so the news starts like, you know, they start. Oh, man. So it gets really, out of the apartment. Yeah. It's like spreading. Yeah. So everybody's like, oh, my God, my favorite characters are back. And then everybody stops buying the new shit, like the new stars. Oh, yeah. And they become a threat, right? right. So threat now, biz. now, yeah, all the business is dropping. So yes. now they got to be taken out. Oh, no. They be put back mm-hmm. or and taken so, out. And so then, Josh Brolin and his crew starts like No, and then, them down. then it's like all the famous iconic characters from the 80s have to go underground. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And okay. they're hidden by, like, the people are, like, hiding them. Oh, wow. So, so there's, okay. there's a revolution. <laughs> so starting a revolution. There's an underground railroad of, like, these famous <laughs> underground To Canada. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to go to Canada. <laughs> but then they want to take you, well, you'll be safe. But Risky Business yeah. Tom Cruise is like, we can't just 
we, we can't just hide. Oh, that's the beautiful thing because <laughs> we have to fight back. Yeah, he makes yeah. a good speech. Yeah, he, he makes, makes his iconic awesome speech. Say, Fuck it. You know, and then, then Bill, Bill Pullman's like, hold on, I'll, I'll do the speeches here. Kid. Bill Pullman? I don't know. In the 90s, man. Come Independence Day is a great speech. <laughs> and then they, they say, get out of here, Bill Pullman. You're in space Are we doing 80s or can we do 90s characters? I mean, the 80s Early, early 90s? Early 90s. You're absolutely right, though, because they don't, like, like modern stars or whatever they want to shove down your throat, they don't have... It's too the polished. charisma. Yeah, they don't really have that kind of like like like. It, it's amazing that Weird Al Yankovic is still around. Like, right. Where are the Weird Owls? Like right. Off topic. Yes. Weird Owls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying no. Like even like weird stars like that. Like Pee Wee somehow made it through, but they don't make new Pee Wees. No. You know they don't make new like. Because they started from something real. Well, th- yeah. Think yeah. of think of Schwarzenegger. There's you can't compare a Schwarzenegger to something. Are now. you are no. you kidding me, Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Chris who? Exactly. You know, there's nothing. Chris who? There's nothing like, you know. Oh, he's not even like the Thor one, is he? <laughs> I don't even know. I get them confused. Sorry. They all blend in together. So this See, is, that's the problem. That is Hemsworth. the problem. Yeah. I can't think of Thor's name right now. Yeah. Yeah. Liam because Hemsworth. It oh, it is Chris Hemsworth. Because I'm it sorry. doesn't, it Chris doesn't Hemsworth stick out, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. all like, you know, all those memorable stars are from the 80s. Like, yeah. You guys can't see this, but Sean's crying right now. manufacture new ones. He is. Sean's <laughs> tearing up. No, he's I got, always think guys, this is true. Anime eyes right now. This is true. Giving this speech. Excuse me. <laughs> you got to save those tears from Mr. Hollywood. Yeah, because we got to pitch. That's passion, right? We got to yeah, pitch man. in 15 passion. minutes. We got this, this movie's about meetings. something now, guys. It really is. So are the meetings in 15 it's about minutes. about that. 15 it's about minutes. So what happens okay. in Act 3? We have So by the end of Act 2... Who's the, saving them though? Who's yeah? Or Joey, Rima, Joey, and Vincent. <laughs> like v- VHS addicts are like saving them. Like like uh, Joey, like Joey. Yeah. So yeah. Joey Ramon well, writes. Maybe, maybe here's where we can bring in Joey's going to the dark side. Maybe. Oh you no. Know what I mean? Yeah. Joey's got to. Yeah. Something and so yeah. there's a conflict. You got to split like you're them. Saying, yeah. yeah. There's a. This is maybe where the conflict happens in Act Between Three. Between Joey and Vincent. Maybe. Yeah, okay. They got to go at odds eventually. Yeah. yeah. So because they're the best friends for this movie. Network. This is movie night. They realize what the problem is. It's supposed to be movie night, man. They what have, happened to you? <laughs> they're, yeah. They're oh, almost, the video stores are closed. They're at this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean there's no more video stores anywhere? Blockbuster. <laughs> what happened to you? You used to be down with movie night. <laughs> oh, my God. You used to rewind these tapes before you returned them, man. <laughs> you used to be kind. <laughs> <laughs> you used to rewind. Where's Molly Ringwald? Yeah. <laughs> we still need a couple more females, actually. Well, we, we do, we do. We're yeah. neglecting the ladies for some reason. Yeah. Uh, who are the, um, some, uh, hey, Josh, who are some iconic 80s female characters? Josh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Maybe, our friend Josh yeah. is here. He's Maybe, moving, um, yeah. hey, Josh. We can throw in Cindy Lauper just oh, as, as yeah. a, the great, the, yeah. You know, I don't know, she's not in a movie. No, she was but in she's a she's an movie. actress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Short yeah. Circuit, she, Ali Cindy Lauper. Remember yeah. she's in, uh, I don't remember Jeff that Oakland? movie. I bet we could get Cindy Lauper in this movie, yeah. too. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer in Scar Scarface. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Let's get D.D. Pfeiffer instead of D.D. Pfeiffer in I From Don't Vamp. Know. Vamp? Yeah. Oh, jeez. She was good. <laughs> you just got to watch Vamp. That's all. Oh, so, oh. She's not iconic. Okay. I feel so stupid right now. Sigourney Weaver. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. As Sigourney like Weaver. Ripley. Ripley. Or like Working Girl. Oh, Sigourney maybe Weaver. she's part of. <laughs> Shush wait, maybe she's in the Black Ops. Oh. Oh, Ripley's shit. Ripley's part of the ba- yeah. Black Ops. Yeah. What if we have two? Do you want James Earl Jones yeah. or Sigourney Weaver? Because they sound both like bosses. I say we have a... Or is she just like a warrior? Yeah, a warrior. Yeah? So we're she saying bye-bye James Earl Jones. No, no, no. no. Well, how I'm, about both? How about James Earl Jones what? just a puppet for the... For the <laughs> 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 Sigourney <laughs> Weaver. Cabin in the woods. <laughs> what yeah, if we get like some real odd female character to be like in charge of the Black Ops? Like, mm-hmm. okay. who's the girl in Karate Kid? Like somebody like that, a- Elizabeth Shue. You're yeah, about? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was huge in the eighties. She right? was Elizabeth yeah, yeah. Shue. So Avengers she and Shue sitting. Is now like okay, the corporate. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, because sometimes that happens in business. Mm-hmm. Like they used to be, they used to be like a like a famous like Shirley now, Temple. Yeah, and now they've eased she into became like, went on into politics and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, so she's eased she's into it like a, like a like a she executive was part of, position. Uh, UNICEF and the all ultimate that stuff. executive position. So I don't know. That's just and she was in Back to the Future too. That's right. So. But still, two, we, two. we need our uh, we need our yeah. real <laughs> act. Also. We need our act three to get go big here, though. Yeah, it, but the conflict between the, the two guys, yeah, the, the two main guys. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's Joey Ramone and Vincent Gallo. Like he wants to keep going. But, so you know. random, so random. Mm-hmm. 
but that's what makes it awesome. <laughs> that's right. So, so Adam Driver so they're and Vincent odds with Gallo. Each other. So our 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 main char- our big characters are out in the world now. They're in hiding. They're being Is, found out about. The people yeah. are now. There's bringing t-shirts. back the, the real character. <laughs> yeah, we want, we want quality. They're becoming aware yeah. of the flatness that is being fed to yeah. them yes. by the movie industry. Yes. The movie industry is no beginning to freak God out. Oh, oh, there we go. The so it's business. present day. Is, is like coming yes. is it present the day? It's present day. Yeah, so, the present, the, okay. so all the corporations are coming apart at the scenes. They can't sell their shit product anymore. Yes. People want like real, they want nostalgia, they want real like. What if it starts out with Vincent Gallo reminiscing about well, in this world, sitting with Joey Ramone, no, well, and he this, plops in, this in a, a VHS tape. No, we could say in this in this oh, okay. world of okay. this movie, Joey okay. Ramone is still alive. Okay, all right, right. And this is like it's our movie. Yeah, it's it's oh yeah, but so, is it eighty six anymore? No, 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 it's, it's present like, day. Now. I think it should be present day okay. because like because look, Joey you've Ramone got, lived, you know. Yeah, apparently. Joey Ramone's <laughs> in this world. Joey Ramone's alive still. Okay, so it's yeah. So okay, perfect. And in the part of the in the underground, while they're hidden, like. People like Anthony Michael Hall are making these like YouTube videos, <laughs> right? And they're like, they're like trying to like make these like videos to like inflame the people. Like, I'm a real character. I'm the geek, right? Nobody's yeah, yeah, the yeah. geek. Nobody could be the geek anymore, you know, or something right, like that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So they're all, so they're all struggling for like their little notoriety or whatever. <laughs> right. No, they're like they're part of this re- rebellion movement. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're so in this, hiding. They're so, in hiding. But, okay. This but is they're perfect. posting YouTube videos. This is perfect because you yeah, they're, go they're back like to they're when like they're like um, um anonymous like YouTube yeah, anonymous yeah, yeah, on YouTube. Like, like when YouTube was new, you you can get away with that shit. So they can have their own kind of like their own network like that. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So each each character but famous is in hiding, doing but it. nobody knows them anymore. That's the thing. No, right? no one knows them. Yeah. But but there's a resurgence now of awareness about it, and then these YouTube videos are starting to get lots of hits. Like mm-hmm. you've got Tom Cruise doing one. He's riding. He's doing his dance like his <laughs> risky business, and he's like, "I was an awesome character in the '80s." You know, like dude, this whatever. movie could be so done like, with so like there's like a Star Wars kid video. <laughs> <laughs> It goes viral like yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. You're like, I remember that guy. No, but he actually, Tom Cruise actually does the Star Wars yeah. kid video <laughs> with the awkward lightsaber yeah. fighting. So so they have to create their famous <laughs> scenes. They're creating a rebel, a revolution. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They, they these, okay. all these characters are in hiding. Independently. Post, independently posting. And That's they're posting the YouTube yes. videos. That's it. And yeah. creating a revolution yeah. okay. and creating the awareness. It's crazy. And they're the, like, we don't need the corporations. Hold on a second. We don't need those assholes. Yeah. Anymore. And the people are becoming they aware. They never care about us. Never. Yeah. People are like coming out. Their eyes are opening. Yeah. They're rubbing their <laughs> eyes. <laughs> They're, they're walking out of the movie theaters like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, you know? and then, then they're like, they're they're realizing this, this whole movie has to be done with like um like facial replacement, like CGI. So we actually get the <laughs> we actually get a, a young Anthony Michael Hall, right? Because like it's be not awesome. it's no, not gonna make no. sense if like an actor is right, playing yeah. young Anthony. No, no. You need uh, to like. You it need needs to, to be his a, face. It's got to be all CGI. That budget's gonna be crazy now. Mr. Hollywood is like he's he's gonna <laughs> like the message. Mr. Mm-hmm. Hollywood, I like the message. Think he's gonna spring for this extra like. Like de aging shit process. <laughs> like cause no, that's no, crazy. no, no. All you do, you would, ha- you would have like a real life act. No, no, like, like what real they life did actor with like with a, a face. Uh, like what they did with like Paul Walker. Wa- like something. what they did with Paul Walker, and like they oh, put like don't a face. Bring it down. Like they did with Anton Yelkin. Uh, oh, no, stop, no, so I'm no. sorry. Come on. So, uh, I'm right. sorry. Uh, <laughs> like they did, like that. they did with Army Hammer and the Social Network, where they yeah, doubled so, okay, his face. Yeah, so they'll put the old thing. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. They can do that. Okay. It can be done. It can be done. They could put young Tom Cruise's face on right. actual Tom Cruise. Okay. Okay. Maybe or, yeah. they save the day with telekinesis. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> Vincent Gallo's like, I didn't know that I had telekinesis. <laughs> And then to tie boarding to tie boarding house into the home. Oh, okay, 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 okay awesome. Right? And then okay. I, I, just, I think that the the climax of the movie should be Joy Ramone and on, it's like on a the rooftop, and he starts in power that they didn't, they didn't know. So when, yeah. when, when uh, Vincent Gallo starts using his telekinesis and the VCR power together, Joy Ramone's like starts saying, like, "Hey." Oh, <laughs> let's go! Oh, yeah. hey, how about starts, this? He just starts yeah. rocking out. How about we set that up in the beginning when, ben, they're, on the, when they're on the couch and like, I don't want to get up to put the tape in. And like, <laughs> like Vince yeah. Gallo's like trying to use telekinesis, yeah. and he's like, "Stop, you idiot! What are you doing? You know that doesn't work." And he's like, "I've been practicing. I've yeah. been watching uh, uh, Return of the Jedi." Me. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, Luke Skywalker also has to be in. You gotta this. set it up. Yeah. Yeah. 
So then, like, I, I just I just picture oh. um, Bender from Breakfast Club like playing guitar with Joey. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, so we'd be playing drums with Joey. If you're using old footage, do you have to pay for that? Like, pay for the actors? I'm not paying for it. Hollywood is. I'm just thinking budget. That's it's all. The Hollywood. They own it already. Budget. It's like here. Roger Rabbit, man. You know, how okay, they got so, all those characters. So a major corporation is so going to yeah. make only, this. Only yeah. We'll be about a no, rebellion of of uh. You Vincent know. Cowell will be wearing a Coca Cola T-shirt. So that will <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. the whole movie's going to be wearing like Pepsi T-shirt, Coca Cola T-shirt. Brown. Cola. Yeah, Joey Ramos is going to be Cola? wearing like a uh, Bumblebee White t-shirt. Rock so Cola? that's going to pay for itself, you know. All right. Okay. Whatever, they're all going to be wearing. So we're going to make the money on the product. On the t-shirts that okay. Joey Ramon keeps You guys changing. want some Minute Maid orange juice? <laughs> yeah, it's going to yeah. be like, the whole movie's going to be like that Wayne's World scene. <laughs> all right. We're okay. like, it's like <laughs> we got to do something because this is spiraling we're out like, of budget. Joey Ramon's like, control. hey, we're going to have to make a choice. This, this is going to be the choice of a new generation. This is the biggest movie. And he's going to drink from a Pepsi. You can't let the old generation die. That, yeah. It's okay. Good. Okay. So, so, so we, so the threat is is to wipe out all these stars, the corporations. Yeah. At With the door, commercial right? placement. Yeah. So do we have do we have a thing where they have to use what they've learned or what they know before? Yes. To fight to get out. That's yeah, there's, there's, there's superpower. Like there needs I to think. be some sort of climactic thing. Yeah, maybe. we're building up to that, but I don't know what. Yeah, what yeah. That the is. black ops are going to come down. Right. I mean, Luke Skywalker's going to be failing, trying to guys. Maybe, we're failing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe since since they've started this network, this underground network, the people actually help and revolt. Yeah. That's oh. you know, now that they have, a they're waking Michael up. Hall. They're waking up. Yeah, they're waking, up. waking up, and they're like, they're saying, you know, we've had enough of this shit. And they're all saying, "A O, so, let's go." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blitz, yeah. They're having. They're all having a blitzkrieg. Yes. Where does this happen? This is kind. It's of, like V for was, Vendetta, that's but what awesome. I was just gonna say. Okay. That's what yeah, I was just yeah. gonna say. Yeah. I'm just getting. We can sort of. Me and you, Greg. V and V for Vendetta. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Me and Greg are yes. in the same. What? Um, what, what I don't know how comic. we're gonna. <laughs> How, what yeah. happened well, there? But Beaver song, Vendetta just kind of ended. The song the will be Hey Ho, Let's Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's the Instead chant. Instead of the cannons. The, chant. the yeah. chant of the people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then yes. all these all these movie theaters are blowing up around them. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah. And, yes. and, uh, and video stores are popping up. And again. also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're okay. building video stores brick by brick. <laughs> okay, how about that? How about, how about there's like some kind of, there's some kind of cataclysmic event that just destroys... Like uh, all these kind of uh, Vincent Gallo's like Highlander. Like, okay, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe he becomes too, too powerful, right. and he destroys the all Highlanders. These, like, also, in this all movie. the streaming abilities and all all the like the electronic right. abilities of, of delivering entertainment, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and and suddenly the world just kind of you know settles and and shit just like. Freddie Mercury is still alive in this in this movie too. <laughs> <laughs> just so he could do a duet. I want with... to ride my no, bicycle. But, but it's an apoc- yeah. it's like an apocalyptic thing that happens. Okay. Right. Yeah. And people just like the economy crashes. The, the sky starts anything. turning purple. Yeah. And and so so eventually Gallo's like oh the my moment God. happens. Everyone's phone stops working at the oh. same time, exactly. and then yeah. everyone looks up. Right. Yeah. yeah. All exactly. of a sudden yeah. they do that thing where like their neck hurts or like. It's like in the cable guy when everybody stopped started picking up the books when, when right. they blew up the antenna. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so what happens is like uh, there's no way t- to access the new media. Right. So this is like an apocalyptic like six months later. Mm-hmm. And what's left? Oh, they're doing live plays of their 16 movies. Sixteen millimeter. What's left? Oh, they have to pull movies out. VHS yes. Tapes. VHS, VHS tapes. That's VHS it. VHS tapes are left. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Does that I like work? it. Yeah. I like it. So yeah. the poster of this has to look like an old, like blockbuster video VHS yes. type thing. Yeah, so the, the, full the, on. We'll so go the, all with the way. a hand with or something. Yeah, yeah. The aesthetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, the aesthetic so is film and 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 how like about cassette I, tapes. I, I know it's <laughs> it's uh you know. Oh yeah, what happens to the VCR? The VCR gets put in a, in a wooden crate in a large room. Lots of wooden <laughs> like crates. Just like you raised the last time. Right. 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 That's what happens. The guy's carting it off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no. So, so. And then I, Indiana Jones comes out of the thing. No, no, no I have the post. I have the. So, so we do the Indiana Jones ending with the VCR. <laughs> credits start. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. <laughs> credits starts rolling. The credits start rolling. All of a sudden, you just. After the credits, when people stick around to see the mm-hmm. post credits, mm-hmm. there's a TV going. And there's a little blonde girl, and she's going. Oh shit! Yeah. There. That, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Oh yeah, the poster's right there. <laughs> the poster's behind yeah. it. Yeah. it. Perfect. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Sequel. This could be a franchise, Mr. Mm-hmm. Hollywood. So. 
Mm-hmm. I think we're so, ready for Mr. Hollywood, you so guys. We go to, yeah, can we I go upstairs? So. I think yeah. we're ready for Mr. Hollywood. Oh, so oh boy. I so the ideas of this episode belong called, to Greg Shanti, right. Pete and Sean. Yeah. For whatever it's maybe worth. Josh yeah. talking in the side over there, telling yeah. us some ideas. Nobody can use it. Yeah, it's Not ours. They really want ours. It. It's belongs. It's ours. It's, it's, <laughs> this idea this belongs idea. to the four of us. <laughs> I might be selling my shares oh, if this doesn't hey do well. Hey ho, let's yeah. go. Oh, it's gonna be movie night. On the bottom, hey, hey ho, let's, let's go. go. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a log that's line. The, that's mm-hmm. the, the not tag just the tagline. Not just anybody can gather <laughs> this many celebrities into one movie. But we can. <laughs> the four of, oh, us. of course, yeah, we have the power <laughs> to do this. With Mr. Hollywood on our side, I think we can make this I happen. Mean, like before we end, like I've seen. The, have you seen? There's like a. There's like a on online. There's like um, someone took the the cantina scene from Star Wars, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. they replaced it with like. Um, like uh, the Terminator was in the oh, canteen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's, like it's like a three-minute short. They mashed yeah. it all up. They mashed up like all. Right. So it's doable. That's right. True. It's completely doable. Mm-hmm. Sure. But we're we're adding mm. a, we're adding an original story to just them hanging out into a cantina scene. We're having them start a, re- of a rebellion. Revolution. A revolution. Think it's you know, we'll get for a creative. We'll get it, you know, Our team of lawyers will figure that out. That's true. Legal. That's we'll not our out. problem. That's not our yeah, problem. No. Fuck that. We're, we're creative minds. Yeah. Creative. We're not business minds, right? No. We'll work yeah. it'll, Come on. It'll, it'll all get worked. We try out. to keep it in mind, but you know, it can't stifle our creativity. If you guys can get your legal people to work with ours, maybe we can hash something out. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll have them. And, and, and uh, Mr. We have the whole Mr. we have Hollywood. Mr. Hollywood's legal team behind us too. Mm-hmm. So we got I just this. hope Mr. Just, Hollywood likes this idea because we got to go up there and pitch this movie to him right now. Uh, the movie's called Movie Night, uh-huh. starring Adam starring, Driver as right. Joey Ramone, Vincent Gallo as, as Vincent himself. Gallo. Yeah, did we have Debbie Harry in there somewhere? Yes. But yeah, we didn't really yeah, include she's her. In there. She's, did we? It's the Debbie Harry from uh, Videodrome. Okay, okay, Videodrome, cool. drone, drone? Video yeah, Videodrome. Videodrome. Yeah, okay. Yes. Anthony Michael Hall. And Michael. <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. Tom Cruise. Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Uh, Sylvester shit. Stallone. Uh, yeah. Cindy Lauper. Uh, Patrick, Arnold, Arnold Patrick Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Patrick Everybody. Swayze. Everybody. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everybody. Epic. Yeah. Weird Al Yankovic. The real <laughs> characters from the golden days yeah. of real yeah. movies. Oh, oh uh, right. Yeah. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. Sigourney Weaver. Josh right. Brolin. Oh, and uh, James Earl Jones, too. Yeah. yeah. Real so, characters coming back from the past to demolish a bland world. Yeah. That's perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> You're ready for the pitch meeting, man. But Mr. You're Holly- ready. Mr. Hollywood creates these bland oh, characters. Music and score by the Ramones mm. and Queen. How can there we, we go. convince him? And Cindy Lauper. I don't know. We're going to have to And Cindy Lauper. We're gonna have to doing a duet. <laughs> Cindy Lauper singing a Queen song. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that could work. That could yeah. work. <laughs> I'd right. buy the soundtrack. So if any graphic artist out there could make a poster of this insane movie, that would be awesome. Uh, it's called Movie Night. Movie Night. And, hey, ho, uh, let's yeah. go. Let's do it. I'm into it. I'm Woo! ready. Let's so go up there, guys. I'm thank ready. you for listening. Hey, thank you to Greg and Shante yeah, for you guys. You're gonna for, do the talking up there, right? To Mr. Yeah, Hollywood. we're just gonna we hang out. We're, we're gonna be the, we're gonna be nodding we behind. We're gonna be pacing mm-hmm. behind you, pacing back mm-hmm. and forth. So uh, we're ready. Thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe and comment. We, we're on iTunes and yeah. SoundCloud, right, and right. you can find us on Twitter at Pitch It Movie Pod on Twitter. Yeah, and we're on Facebook, and we're on Instagram, and we're yeah. on. All the grams and you guys are just yeah. on. We're Googles everywhere. Yeah, you can find so at us and stuff. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, Thanks where so can much uh, for having us. yeah? Where can um, yeah, people guys. find Playdate stuff on iTunes website? Um, yep, I love Playdate.com. I love Playdate. It's com. great stuff. And they're also on Twitter. Check it out. And Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, I love all Playdate. I love Playdate. All the social medias. Mm-hmm. I love Playdate. Look it up. It's great Throw stuff. Uh, great I stuff for kids. Playdate. Great stuff for. Oh, and uh, the Souls have a new album coming out too. Oh my God, we, we did a whole yes. episode with That's Greg. Right. That's right. And you guys, by the time this comes out, it'll be it'll like, be out. Yeah, right? it'll be July? the July, the end of July. So. July 29th, the Bouncing Souls. Oh, okay. I heard, I heard the Beautiful. first. Oh, yeah. I heard the song. The, the song is awesome. The music video, the lyric That's video, up to us. Simplicity mm-hmm. up to is us. the record. Great song. New record's called Simplicity. Amazing. And you sing on it. I sing a little bit on it. <laughs> Do some stuff on it. La, you do some, la, la, you tinker, la, la. yeah, you're like, la, la, la. you're like, hey ho, let's go. You did a little thing. Do some Joey hey, Ramone imitations. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. Guys you. It was fun. Yeah, it was Good. really fun. Awesome. Right. Cool. Thanks, Thanks so much. guys. And, thank uh, you. See you. Peace hear you out. Next so. time on the Picture Movie Podcast. Yeah. yeah. So listen to us next you time. You should have us back. We will. Yeah, please. Anytime. <laughs> that was fun. We need the help. All right. Yeah, we do need the help. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, kids. Bye.